Deep thinkers are people that overthink a lot and deeply analyze every problem. Nothing can ever really surprise these people, since they've already thought about the worst-case scenario and are probably expecting it to happen. Ignorance is a curse, but sometimes it can actually work to your favor, since the less you know, the more you can ignore and not worry. Deep thinkers, on the other hand, never ignore anything and notice the slightest change. Could you be a deep thinker too? Well, today we're going to talk about seven signs that you might be a deep thinker. More of that in a second. Make sure you watch till the end because number six will blow your mind. Number one, you're introverted. Are you an introvert? Would you rather stay alone in your room and listen to songs than go out and meet new people? If social interactions aren't your thing and you would rather stay at home than go out, then chances are you're an introvert. Introverts, unlike extroverts, get their energy from inside themselves and not from other people when interacting with them. German psychologist Hans Eysenck researched the brain of an introvert and found that introverts have naturally high cortical arousal, meaning their ability to process information per second is higher than the average extrovert. This leads to them getting exhausted much faster with social interactions as compared to extroverts. Also, do you know who else likes to think a lot and overanalyze every bit of information? That's right, deep thinkers. There exists a deep correlation between deep thinkers and introverts. Deep thinkers are almost always introverted because they need the quiet time that introverts love to focus on their thoughts and give their ideas space and freedom. If you're an introvert that likes to think a lot, chances are you're a deep thinker too. Number two, you analyze experiences. One of the defining characteristics of a deep thinker is their habit of deeply analyzing every experience they feel is even slightly related to the situation they are in at the moment. Deep thinkers analyze the past, present, and the future all at the same time, so they can use what they learned from the past and utilize the clues of the present to predict the future. Unfortunately, most deep thinkers lean towards the darker future, and what they will most likely predict is the worst possible outcome of the situation. Being obsessed with the past comes with the added benefit of nostalgia. Deep thinkers will often get super nostalgic from events that even slightly remind them of something that happened in the past. Deep thinkers try to take facts and experiences from the past and link them with new facts and experiences. Doing this helps them see a sort of order in the weird spontaneous thing we call life. Since deep thinkers are always thinking, they do everything they can to try and make sense of this world. This habit of analyzing every experience also stems from the same desire to make sense and find order. If you are someone that constantly stays obsessed with the past, you might just be a deep thinker. Number three, you look at things from multiple perspectives. Deep thinkers try to explore stuff from every angle imaginable. Every problem and issue they face, they try to look at it from a million different perspectives to try and make sense of it. They also learn to adapt to any situation, and since they already know most perspectives that might exist surrounding a specific situation, they are often the best people to explain stuff. Multiple perspectives mean multiple outcomes, and since everything has already been thought about, that means being prepared for everything. Deep thinkers are also the quickest to adapt to any situation, since they look at stuff from multiple perspectives and then choose the best way to react to them. These guys are also really easy to get along with, since they think a ton about choosing the best possible answer when replying. They might be introverted, but they sure know the right way to reply to basically anything. By the way, if you're finding this video valuable so far, then make sure to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And why not subscribe so you can keep learning more? It's free! Number 4. You're forgetful This one probably sounds wild. How can a deep thinker be forgetful if one of the main things they do all day is just thinking? Well, here's the fun part. Just because a deep thinker is mentally prepared for anything doesn't mean they physically are. The fact that deep thinkers think a ton also doesn't exactly work in their favor. Since they're going through a million thoughts an hour, they tend to forget the fine details of each one. Plus, deep thinkers are always trying to cherry-pick the most pressing thoughts. The focus on the more important matters at hand and other mundane tasks get ignored in all that. These mundane tasks, however, often include birthdays and anniversaries. If you're friends with a deep thinker and they forgot to surprise you on your birthday, cut them some slack. Given how much deep thinkers think they were probably thinking about how Earth might not survive another ice age. The mind of a deep thinker is wild. Number 5. You're empathetic. Since deep thinkers have a thing for being able to look at every situation from every perspective, 
They're usually very understanding and empathetic. They understand how they would feel if they were in someone's place, and this helps them develop empathy regarding every person they come across. Now, you might be thinking that this is a good thing, and yes, to an extent, being super understanding and empathetic is good, but here's the thing. Once you start looking at things from everybody's perspective, it's easy to forget your own. Even when someone has wronged you, you start to look at things from their perspective, and before you know it, you start to think that they're right and their reasons are valid. Your empathy reaches everyone, and after a point, it starts to invalidate your own grief. Deep thinkers, as a result, are easier to manipulate and gaslight than normal people because due to their overactive imagination and tendency to overthink, they come up with reasons that make them feel as if they're the guilty ones. If you often feel like you're responsible for stuff, even though when you started thinking about it you felt that you were wronged, you might be a deep thinker. This is the curse of the deep thinkers. They can be easily manipulated into thinking that they're the ones that are wrong, and their understanding nature makes them believe it. Number 6. You like to read One of the coolest things about deep thinkers is how much they read. Reading is a fun way to keep your brain occupied, and since deep thinkers have their brains always running at full throttle, books are an easy way for them to keep it busy. Deep thinkers also notice everything in the book, and due to their ability to look at everything from multiple perspectives, they relate with every character and get lost in the book as they are reading it. Deep thinkers consume information for the purpose of using it in real life later on. They might not know how or when, but deep thinkers see the value in obtaining new knowledge for the sake of obtaining new knowledge. Knowledge is always good. It helps you make sense of everything that is happening around you, and helps you predict the future too. You can make calculated guesses which, if you had the correct information, actually turn out to be true. Deep thinkers also consume information at a much faster rate as compared to other people. They dive into a book, binge read it, and don't let go until it's finished. If you relate with these signs, you might be a deep thinker. And if you like this video, then check out these related videos to see more. And make sure to subscribe and leave a comment saying, I subscribed, and we will personally reply to your comment.